community and country is a, is a big thing for me. And uh, I believe the only way we can look after our country is if we do have strong and vibrant communities. It's been a, a long journey for me, uh, pretty much a 35 year career in ag. We started in 1994 by changing our, our grazing methods. That showed us that by using a tool very differently, you could actually achieve greater diversity and mass of your natural assets while still actually getting a better business result. And so that was a big indicator for our path that followed from there. Out of that came no-kill cropping, which was our new systemic approach to growing crops within grasslands and not taking away any of the diversity. Across our, our paddocks, we now very often see 100 or more species identifiable at any one time in a paddock, uh, and that's on the grass level alone. No-kill cropping is one of uh, our proudest achievements here because of its scalability across grasslands, not only in Australia, but around the world. So it, it actually provides an opportunity for you to grow crops within a grassland without eliminating plants, animals, or other biology. Animal behavior, that was a key part of uh, grazing management that hadn't been really addressed quite so much. I co-developed self-herding. Self-herding is an exciting field because it's behaviourally based. So by us taking an active role in their behaviours, we can change their habits so that that over and under utilisation is changed and shifted across the whole landscape. We're seeing a range of really positive results in the rangelands. Anything from fixing gully heads, working with indigenous groups to uh, keep wild feral animals away from uh, culturally sensitive areas. Land care uh, for me is about community and country. Well, having been involved with our local land care groups, hosting over the years now many thousands of people, I think land care is a critical and a wonderful shining beacon because it is community driven. It's from the heart and the head. For me, it means that you get substantive results. The science is becoming increasingly clear that we are running up against the limits of our usage of natural resources. My vision would be for stronger results for our country and community and that unless we have uh, systems that, that continue to drive an expansion of community involvement, then we aren't going to get the results that we would want in the landscape. We do live in exciting times in that there is a, a great groundswell of interest for fundamental change. It is a very rewarding and a privileged position that I have to be able to travel as much and interact with so many wonderful people across Australia that are genuinely interested in not only bettering themselves, but bettering their communities and the nation as a whole.